welcome back to my channel. So sorry there was not a video last week. I had a bit of a crazy work week so I didn't get a chance to film and I didn't want to just put kind of any old crap up. So I thought I, this week, I know you guys love when I share my favourites with you every month so I thought I would create a March favourites for you all. I know it's a little bit late but hopefully you guys forgive me and love all the things that I've been loving this month. There's actually not too many fashion favourites this month. I've kind of been living in kind of a jeans and a t-shirt wardrobe and then literally yesterday it suddenly got like crazy hot in LA I don't know what happened it was overnight like 95 degrees from being like 65 very confusing but I'm okay with it it's not cold and rainy I have quite a few random favorites as well as some beauty and fashion so let's get straight into the video so first up I want to talk about a very random favourite of mine but something that I, you know, I like share everything with you guys. So the first thing I want to share is the protein powder that I have recently been loving. It is from Tone It Up, it is a plant based protein and I have the flavour of vanilla. I have been making, oh, I have been making um, shakes and smoothies in the morning with this for kind of a healthy option for breakfast and it's really good it keeps you full till lunchtime which is awesome it's great for when you're kind of like on the go throw some greens in there maybe some fruit um, I have a couple of other things like flax and things like that that I like to add if you guys want to see kind of how I make smoothie maybe I can make a video on that let me know in the comments down below but yeah this is the protein powder I really like I have found in the past that certain protein powders have given me a really bad stomach ache and I mean really bad I am vegetarian as you guys know so I always try and go for a plant based protein but um, I found I just feel really like ugh, when I have it so I went for this one and um, the ingredients are pea protein organic sorry pea protein organic pumpkin seed protein natural flavors gaga monk, monk fruit extract monk fruit extract by the way I've been seeing everywhere um, so uh, I was kind of glad to see that was in this um, and sea salt and that's it like it's a super simple thing I put one scoop of this but like I say it's vanilla flavoured so it kind of adds a nice flavour a bit of almond butter, some greens, maybe a banana or some fruit and yeah I'm good to go and it really really keeps me full and yeah I've been really enjoying this one I think I picked this up from Target and it was like 20 bucks so not bad for breakfast so then sticking with the kind of like health and wellness you guys might be able to see I have um a patch of eczema on my neck now I purposely didn't cover that up because I wanted you to see you know what it looks like it is very sore and irritated I think it's partly to do with the weather change and I like I said I've been really busy so I haven't been eating my best like I said I've been going with the protein smoothie because that keeps me going and then um yeah I've kind of not been eating as well as I'd like to be eating and you know having a few more late nights so I think that's why my eczema has flared up but I wanted to show you what I've been using and it's red right now because I just put this on this morning like I like to use it in the morning and in the evening and whenever I need it but this is a pure remedy eczema and psoriasis relief it's like a salve can you see that it's kind of like a Vaseline kind of consistency but it's slightly more oily and honestly I have had eczema since I was a really really young kid and I have never found anything that works um, it's always gonna flare up I'm never going to just not have it and that's something I've come to realise and be okay with but I don't want it to get to a crazy level. It's pretty inflamed right now as you can see it's just like a solid kind of stingy patch um, but I'm not going to try and cover it up because that's going to irritate it some more and I'm okay with that. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about this because it's honestly the only product that kind of has soothed it and almost got rid of it in days. It, this flared up probably like yesterday or the day before. I've just started using this again on it. I just, as you can see, I've kind of been working my way through it. They do two different sizes now of this, which is awesome. This is a slightly bigger size, which I know might sound crazy, but you really don't need a lot. It's like a very small amount. You apply it all over. I'm not going to do it now because I don't like to touch it when it's my, my hands aren't like perfectly clean. However, um, this has been amazing. So I thought, you know, I share all my other kind of beauty products with you guys and my what I like. So I thought, why not tell you about this, especially when I'm in a moment of using it. And um, yeah, this stuff is really amazing. It's, um, yeah, wound healing, wound healing, swelling, healing. For psoriasis, it's, it's just all natural ingredients and it's great. This product company actually do 
like a bunch of other stuff that's also supposed to be amazing so yeah check that so sticking with skincare i wanted to share with you guys what sunscreen i've been using because it is officially feels like summer in LA even though it's only just spring but it's officially warmer again and the sun rays here are crazy and it's one of those things you want to be outside a lot you want to enjoy the weather but you don't want to be burning your skin and I'm really really on top of that I use a um, factor 50 on my face every day I've mentioned that one before it's from body shop I'll be sure to link that down below but I love it it goes under my makeup perfectly I also know the super goop foundation uh, foundation sunscreen is amazing as a face primer i really really recommend that but i just picked this up from the drugstore because i was kind of heading to the beach and i was like oh, i want to grab something so this is the neutrogena sheer touch dry sunscreen broad spectrum spf 45 and i just basically grabbed the highest factor i could and i grabbed this one because it's lightweight so i could really rub it into my skin all over and i wasn't going to end up with that kind of sticky feeling and this one's great for that you can use this on your face i personally don't because i like to use something a bit more kind of face appropriate as you can see my skin is really sensitive but this is a great kind of chest tummy arms legs kind of sunscreen and yeah i really really like this one then on to a hand cream that i've been loving and i've been noticing my hands were kind of feeling a bit dry and i remembered i had this in my drawer as you can see i've used quite a bit of it this is the body shop shea hand cream and this smell oh my god oh my god it's so amazing i've used some now actually it's great, it's like super moisturizing. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, oh, what brand is that? Is it L'Occitane that comes in this kind of like packaging, that metal packaging, but I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, it smells like, like a delicious man kind of scent. I don't really know, which is weird because I didn't think she about to smell like that. I kind of felt like it just smelled coconutty, but this really has that kind of like yummy man scent, I guess. And oh, I just love it. it smells really good. And yeah, I've been using it all the time, so I thought I'd mention it. Then on to nails. And I have been, I made a conscious decision about two months ago to be like, I'm not gonna get shellac for a while or gel manicures because my nails were feeling like paper thin and they just hurt and that sounds crazy but they literally did and I wasn't getting gel that often I was getting it probably like every three weeks or every four weeks but it was just enough that it was just like I can't do this I need to find something else and I'm the worst person with my nails to paint them and have them not dry quickly because I'm gonna have been bored and do something else and then they're gonna be all smashed so I recently discovered these. These are the Sally Hansen Insta Dry nail colors and I really, really, really like them. They dry literally in 60 seconds, like they say. Honestly, I've never found a polish that dries so fast. And it's amazing for me because honestly, I can't be bothered to sit and watch my nails dry. Who has time for that? No one. So the two colors that I picked up are obviously very different and not that spring-like, but I just kind of grabbed colors that I knew I would use. So I could test them out, see if I like them, and then maybe I'll go back and get some more colors, which I probably will. And I think these are quite affordable. They're like $7 from the drugstore, which is amazing. So the first color is this dark color and it's called Go Garnet. And this one I have on my toes right now. And then on my nails, you can see that it's kind of just like my skin color almost maybe a little bit more tan but in it's called the color is called in nude trial oh in neutral <laughs> it's clever anyway pick these two up and yeah i've been really like using them they're really easy to apply they last pretty well um i would say they're not the longest lasting polishes but honestly i am someone who would rather reapply and have fresh nails that would just dry and ready to go my nails always chip. They're never gonna be, I'm never the sort of person that wears like gloves and doesn't touch things. But I felt like if I went for this kind of nude color, you can't really even see, but my nails are a little bit chipped right now and you can't even really tell. They're like, it's subtle enough that they just look clean and fresh and that's all I'm ever going for. So yeah, I've really, really been enjoying those. And then my final beauty favorite this month, I have a lot more other favorites coming, so don't you worry, and um, is this little guy. This is the Tartless Lip Paint and I have it on right now. As you can see, it's a little bit more pink on than it is in the packaging. Like I'll pop a little bit more on. And it's 
really, really comfortable to wear. The colour, I'm not 100% sure of. I will link it down below. It came in a little set that I got. Um, so I'll find it and <laughs> I'll link it down below. But I really like it. It's just like a pinky nude. It lasts really long time. I can eat, I can drink, I can do things in it. I really, really enjoy this. And I like it because it's not just like nude. I kind of look, don't look good in that nude nude, but I do like more of a natural lip color than just nothing. So I've been really enjoying this. I've been wearing it a ton. People are always asking me, what is that lip color? What is that lip color? So I wanted to mention it in my favorites and I've honestly been wearing it nonstop. It came in a set actually that I got at Christmas time but it was just in the set and I just didn't use it. And I recently was like, oh, I wonder what that color would look like. Popped it on, it looks great. This definitely comes in the full size, so I'll be sure to link that down below. But yeah, I've really been enjoying it. And it comes, how cute is this for like in your handbag? I love a little lip color like that. But yeah, it's just nice, goes with everything. It's an easy color and it's been great. I'm really getting back into wearing earrings. Um, you guys may have meant to remember the kind of spikes that I have from Misoma. I will um, be sure to link them down below if you don't know what I'm talking about. But actually, are they right here? I'm gonna grab them. These guys, I have them here. I actually just took them off with this outfit, but they're just little um, spikes. I've been loving wearing those and my simple gold hoops. But my favorite earrings at the moment have been to wear are these guys. Um, these are kind of like a statement, but they're not insane looking, if you know what I mean. I've been really, really enjoying them. I didn't think they worked quite well with this red shirt, but um, just as they are with like a cute sundress, I thought this was such a cute look. I've really, really been liking them. They are from Icing, and usually I can't wear um, kind of like fashion jewelry. It has to kind of be something that's gold. These are gold, those are gold and these are from their sensitive solutions and they were actually fine. I was shocked how um, comfortable they were to wear but I really like them. I just thought they were fun. I'm probably gonna wear them to Coachella. Um, yes, I'm going to Coachella and I'm so excited. Um, I just thought it was fun to have that little pop of something but they didn't look kind of insane, if you know what I mean, because there's a lot of statement earrings out there right now. But yeah, I've really been enjoying wearing those. Then I picked up some sunglasses that you'll be seeing in a haul that is coming up. If you guys are excited for a haul, let me know in the comments down below. I know you love them, but this is them. I borrowed my friend Liza's um, cat eye sunglasses when we did a shoot recently and I was like, I kind of want some, but I don't really want to buy an expensive pair. I found these ones that are like $200. I love, they're so, so cute. But I was like, I just, I don't know whether they're that me. I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to get a cheap pair and then I love them, I'll go out and get a more expensive option. These are from Forever 21, they were $6. I mean, you can't really go wrong. So I thought, I'm gonna grab these, I think they look cute. Um, yeah, you can see my light there. Um, they kind of work, they're like cheapy, so I don't like mind just throwing them in my bag and throwing them around, wearing them by the pool and getting sunscreen on them and stuff. I just thought it would be great for like Coachella and things like that where I'm just not gonna be wanting to wear an expensive sunglass, you know how that goes. And uh, yeah, I really like the shape and they're cute. So then with clothes, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but I've basically been living in jeans and a t-shirt, if I'm being honest. I have been working from home a lot and I've been kind of doing jobs that involve like a lot of running around. You'll be seeing what I mean very, very soon. I'm excited to share with you guys, but I haven't been like dressing up to go to anything. So I haven't been like particularly buying anything new clothes wise. However, I do have a haul coming up where I will share a lot of new things with you. And the only two things that I've been reaching for recently are these denim shirts, and I love them. They're from Levi's, they are really soft and comfortable. This one's quite long, so I've been like loving wearing this just around the house, or tucked into my denim shorts, and just being really comfy. That one's been great, it's in a lighter wash. And then you might have seen this one in my recent denim video. This is kind of short sleeved, it's kind of cowboy-esque and I've really been enjoying wearing that again. So they're my kind of only two fashion-y items clothes-wise. I just honestly have been reaching for the same stuff that you guys have seen a million times. Didn't want to share that with you. Wearing a lot of gym clothes. Um, yeah, 
will, will not give too much away. So on to my final two things. The next thing I've been loving is this candle. This is from Jo Malone and this is in the pomegranate, pomegranate noir fragrance. And yes, you wanna look at this and be like, wait a second, you haven't lit this candle. And no, I haven't. Because honestly, I keep it on my desk and the fragrance is so amazing that it just is there. I don't have to light this then. Oh my God, it's, I'm obsessed with it. I really, really want to go and check out the perfume of this because I think I would love to have this. Um, but yeah, I got this as a little gift and it's just been sat on my desk and I wanted to mention it because I just love it. I want to burn it, but at the same time, that means I'm going to want to go and buy another one. And I'm kind of like, ah, I can smell it literally like this. The scent is so strong, it's amazing. I absolutely love, love this and have been wanting to mention it for a while, so I thought I would include it in this favourites. And then my final favourite this month has been a book that I am reading. This is called Girl Code, Success, Sanity and Happiness for the Female Entrepreneur. And if you guys don't know, I have got some very exciting projects coming up that I'm working on. And do you know what? I feel like any girl who is working and has a life and a family and anything else should read this because it's really about how you're juggling everything and how to make things work for you and yeah I found this really amazing I'm about halfway through and I really wanted to mention it for you I really wanted to mention this to you guys because I thought so many of you would like this too and there's loads of amazing little stories and tips from lots of different female entrepreneurs that have started things or doing things and yeah it's just really really helpful Girl Code is one of the top nine inspiring books every female entrepreneur should read alongside Lean In, Girl Boss and Thrive and I've read Lean In and Girl Boss Thrive I haven't read yet that would be something I'd like to read but this honestly is an awesome book and I really really think you guys if you're working on anything cool give this a try I think you'll like it and that's it that is my favorites for March I'm sorry this one was a little bit late but better late than ever right um and I I'm really excited to film a haul for you guys I'm about to do that I have all the pieces sat right here I'm about to film this that after this and um, let me know what other videos you'd like to see here on my channel. I know you're all loving hauls, I can see because so many of you are watching them and sharing them and loving them. But what other videos do you want to see? I love creating videos for you guys. I'm also going to Coachella and I'd love to know would you like to see any Coachella content? I can get that going right now. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next one.